Hello there guys, hello there guys and welcome to our 28th C++ tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna go ahead and talk about um, how to generate random numbers in C++ using uh, some preprocessor um, directives and functions built in for us. So let's go ahead and waste no time to make this tutorial as short as possible. So if you don't have your project created in the main.cpp file, go ahead and pause the video and do that and then let's go ahead and start. As always, we're gonna go ahead and type our code, then go over it. So, all right. First, we need to include sit time preprocessor directive, and then also we need to include the C standard library. All right. Let's go inside of our main. What we need to do here: type srand function, which is located in our I believe it's in the C time library or in uh, yeah and actually this is in the standard library so let's go ahead and time inside the SRAM we're gonna type time and then we're gonna enter zero there. Next we can do this many different ways. For this tutorial, let's go ahead and use a for loop. Let's go ahead and type INTI equals zero. I guess let's generate is 100 and up let's do 100 random numbers and increment i by 1 here make sure it's less than 100 and we're gonna go ahead and basically all we have to do is just type c out type rand Okay, so we want to let's go ahead and we want to what to basically do is generate random numbers from one to let's say uh, one thousand. So to do that, we type rand and we put the uh, the module operator and then put one thousand and make sure to add one. If we don't add one, it's gonna basically go from zero to nine hundred and ninety nine. And next, let's go ahead and enter a T here what that will do is basically create is a T means uh, stands for tab just like N stands for a new line so every time we print out the number it's going to go to a new line this is going to act like a tab so it's basically going to print the numbers uh, horizontally basically 10 numbers horizontally and then go down next line and do the same thing in tabs basically All right so let's go ahead and run this let's go ahead and build it first Let's see here if it builds successfully. All right, so and let's go ahead and run it. So what we see here is we see a random numbers from between one and one thousand, and we see one hundred of them because we chose here to do one hundred. What we can do also we can instead of four we can put a while loop. And basically tell it um, while is not basically a, r a number we want let's say while not 895 then do this so basically if if the random number is not um, 895 then it's gonna keep doing this if it is it's gonna stop but I guess the for loop uh, is more appropriate for this example and for the use of the random function so alright we can also let's do numbers from from 1 to 100 and let's just do this let's go ahead and do it 1000 times instead let's go ahead and build this and run it so we see here 1000 numbers from 0 I mean from 1 to 100 random numbers so this is how you generate random numbers in C++ it's fairly easy the S rand here let's go over our code so we included our two preprocessor directives in order to use our functions here, the srand and the rand function, function and the time function. So anyways, the srand time zero here, well, srand function and the time function here, this, all, all it's doing is basically, it's making sure that it's setting basically the rand, uh, the rand function. So basically every time the user, one, once we built this, and have an executable code, every time the code starts, basically, Every time the user runs the program over and over, he basically sets everything. So we are so so we so we make sure that we get basically random numbers. If we 
comment this out I'll show you guys and build it I'll go ahead and run this we're gonna get random numbers from 1 to 1000 but let's go ahead and see here we see 42, 68, 35 and 1 memorize these first four numbers without the S ran function every time this this program is ran without building it so basically when, once we have the executable we're gonna keep getting the same numbers over and over and over here we go we're gonna get the same 42, 68, 35 and 1 the four basically the same random numbers that we got the first time we're gonna get those random numbers over and over every time we run this program without including the SRAM the SRAM is making that every, is making sure that every time this program runs the RAM function is set is reset so it can generate new random numbers so let's go ahead and run this one more time build and run it here we go now we get we shouldn't see 35 and 1 here yeah we do 69, 19, 7 those are different random numbers anyways so this was a quick tutorial anyways let's go over the the rent function here we can from with a module 100 means that we want numbers from 0 to 100 and adding 1 that means that start from 1 to 100 so if you want to do 1 to 10 just do 10 or whatever you want to anyway so this was a just a quick tutorial on generating random numbers in C++ and you can use random numbers in many different ways to for many different purposes so take advantage of this guys and if you have any questions please leave comments and send me messages I'll be more than glad to try and help you uh, and please please don't forget to subscribe guys and please please leave comments and any suggestions for any, of any uh, any tutorials you have in mind you want me to make don't be shy to send me a message or 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 leave a comment and please once again watch all my other videos and please please subscribe thank you